Hey everybody, welcome to the Zabe cast. Zabe, Scotty, Low Def, we're all here. Look at this picture right here. That came out of my ear. Oh, God. Ew. <laughs> Honestly. Well, I have to share this because... No, you don't. Let's stop this right there. You don't have to share this. You didn't have to share it with me in the workplace. You didn't have to share it with Solly. And for goddamn sure, you didn't have to share it with anybody on, on in the <laughs> wonderful world of the Zabe well, now This is one of the most well, disgusting things you've ever shared. Well, listen. Uh, and you shared chronic, a lot of disgusting stuff. Chronic earwax buildup is a problem <laughs> afflicting millions of Americans. And I am the new national spokesman for it because I had it happen to me to the point in which I was deaf. For the entire weekend, because I had so much earwax jammed up there, I'd have a doctor remove it, Solly. That's, <laughs> that's disgusting. It's the untalked about problem, like AIDS was in the early 80s. No, this is not like AIDS. You're not, nobody's dying from earwax, but I gotta ask not yet. you, what, how did you know that this was going down or coming out? I, I, I couldn't hear. It was all jammed up in there. I couldn't get it out. Do See, we, do we know what the causes thing. earwax? Cute. What? Do we know? What you're, causes you're still it? deaf. Yes. Yes. Well, not only not, well, there's a little uh, gland that secretes the 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 earwax, but you know why humans have earwax? To protect bees. the ear canal. Who said bees? Me. Good answer. Really? Number one answer on the board. Wait, wait, wow. What? No, not bees per se. Oh, okay. Oh. Not Keep, bees, but no. Keeps them away. Earwax discourages right. bugs and other. So objects, it's huh. their dirt, dust, so and debris was correct from to getting protect deep the into canal. your ear canal. Yes. Yeah, it, it is protected. What about but... Chekhov in Star Trek when the roach crawled well, that right was a worm. into his brain? <clears throat> well, see, your ear is a nice, warm, secluded place. Mm -hmm. Bugs would love to get up in there and make a nest if they could, but the earwax makes them go, ew, gah. Me too, huh? So the, so the stuff that disgusted you when it came out in a little well, ball. Again, How do you little... build up so much, though? Well... Here it is. Q-tips should be banned. What? We talk about banning assault weapons. Q-tips should actually be banned. Well, they always say, never use Q-tips anywhere but the outside of your ear. That's ridiculous. Well, you got to jam it way in there to get the good <laughs> stuff out. Right. Well, the point is when you put Q-tips in your ear, which mm -hmm. they're clearly designed for. That's, yes. Tissues can be used to wipe the outside of your right. ear. I use both. I, I, I wipe the excess with tissues. Then I go in with the good stuff. Good long fingernail. Okay, do you well, right. let me tell you, Q-tips push that earwax up in the ear well, canal. You, you, you got you to gotta swirl around a little, don't you? Okay, well, well did, you know, did you know that only the lower third of your ear canal produces wax? I didn't know that. I thought it was the whole, whole nope. all thirds. No, that, that earwax is not <laughs> gooing out from your cochlea, my friend. <laughs> that, that, that stuff is only in the lower third. So you get it jammed way up there, Scott, beyond the lower third. How is it going to come out? That's a good point. One it's of my favorite get to be a problem of all time, Sally. Dexter Cochlea. Dexter Cochlea, yes. Yes, of course. Cochlea. So I had to put drops in there, and they tried to blast it out. Did you with get the a, big uh, rubber blue ball? That, uh, suction the, that they use they they don't suck it out they have to lavage, lavage it out yes, which is a water. fancy term for bath it's like waterboarding through the ear yeah, exactly it was, yes right. it's a colonic for his ear it's like a it's like a black and decker power washer it's an ear for enema. my ear canal did right it come over. out the other side <laughs> no they should invent ear floss no, but he, he so shot water through his nose <laughs> Oh God! I was ready to I was ready to dig it out with a rusty ah, nail. Great! I was, Do you have yeah. a thumbtack? How about two? Perfect. I will not let you besmirch the fine Q-tip product any longer. By by the way, Q-tip, of course, the preeminent brand of cotton swabs. You even refer to them as Q-tips. They're so good because cotton swabs at the store, your generic brand, are garbage. There's no cotton <laughs> on the end scam. of those things. You gotta have a Q-tip. It's fiberglass reused from insulation. It's Although Sally Zay would have done a lot better with those cotton ones because he just peeled the cotton off and went with the point. Exactly. He would have well, jammed the wax and pulled it right out. Eesh. You really shouldn't use Q-tips because one day you'll do what I did and you'll spend the weekend sounding like it's Saving Private Ryan in the oh. opening scene where it's just one dull <laughs> ringing sound for the entire weekend. Can we bring back the picture one more time, please? Uh, there it is. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you next time.